Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Timberborn Update 6 Folktales playthrough here in cycle 21, day 16. Right on the verge of another drought, and uh, we've got a lot to be happy about from the previous episode, because now our bad water diversion station is up and running, and despite what I thought, I didn't have everything completely connected. Thanks to you guys in the comments for pointing that out. But we'll put this last piece in, and that will connect this almost 1,000 HP worth of power generation to this 2,300 worth. Well, I guess that's because the windmills are turning. But this will be a monumental step forward in our industrial prowess here. We've got plenty more to get done, so don't worry, there's plenty more coming. And we have all sorts of different opportunities we can find ourselves in. So, what we're going to do today, a couple of different things. Uh, a lot of requests to dam this up, and I think that is a fantastic idea. So why don't we go ahead and make that a priority to start here? All we have to do is just put in levees one block high around, uh, except for right here and then right here. It might take a while to actually build, but uh, we're well within our capabilities to do it. It's just going to be an issue of can we get it done within a reasonable amount of time. So, what we will do is we'll go ahead and just get things off to a start right here. And do the ones that are furthest away first. And you might be saying, hey, there's trees in the way. Yes, there are. There aren't going to be trees in the way when we're finished. So we have the ability to come down here. Since this is not going to be flooded and there is no bad water or anything to worry about, we can just pop some stairs in and let these guys come down and take care of all of this. So I will go ahead and mark all of this for cutting. Uh, we'll give them a little bit of a pathway here. And then I think this should reach all those trees. Yep, sure does. Did I get the ones in the corner? I did not. Okay. Well, we will fix that right now. And that should keep these guys busy for a while because we, we aren't going to have to... Uh, we aren't going to have to wait for one of these to get built before we can do the next one, because they can just do them all at the same time. With the exception of right here, because I don't have any uh, I don't have any stairs or paths or anything coming down this way. But, that's about to get fixed as soon as they take care of that, and then we should be good to go. This little bit right here will also need a staircase, uh, so we'll do that. And there we go. Now we can just, uh, what's that old Ron Popeil thing? Set it and forget it. Goodbye. And we can go do something else and uh, check in on that later. But what that's going to do is that's going to allow this area to be a little bit less uh, reliant on the sluice gate nonsense. Because we'll just have a big, 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 big place to plant a bunch more aquatic crops and regulate a little bit more effectively depending on how we want to have this uh, accomplished. It'll hold a lot more water. It'll be a lot less uh, of a pain in the butt to deal with as far as letting water out here, which we blocked, by the way, uh, by putting these levees in place. So that should be fine. Yeah, this this was the big one that I really wanted to make sure we did today. So I guess episode's over now. Uh, <laughs> four minutes in. But no, this power shaft getting uh, connected really, really, really helps us out because now we have plenty of power generation and we can finally, finally, finally start doing more and more production of other things up here. We haven't really done very much recently in terms of expanding anything here. But I will go ahead and, uh, first of all, I have to actually uh, get platforms put in here. But uh, I think long term we probably won't need any more than two wood workshops. So I will go ahead and build this. We don't have to use it right now, but I will have it built just so it's there. And then uh, we can just keep on going past this way and see what else we can build. Now, I don't actually remember. Okay, there's one right here. And I don't know if there's another one on the other side of the map or not. It might just be. Okay, there's one over here. So I, I wasn't even thinking about. Oh, there's two over here. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just I never end up exploring the whole map anytime I ever play this game. It's a little bit uh, a little bit disappointing. 
Sometimes we should, uh, we should maybe do that, but I don't know. It tends to drag things on way too long. So, fortunately, the sluice gates are no longer uh, bugged, so they will keep stuff in place. And that is A-OK. -okay. We got a lot of injured beavers here. And I thought we had put in some medical beds, but I guess we need some more of those. So, since we are already over here, let's just take a moment... Put three more of those right there. That should help out a little bit. And then continue to work on some of this other fun stuff. And take those stairs out. And then we'll get this popped in place here. And then we will be in a lot better shape, folks. We've got three of these smelters. We're going to have two of these wood workshops. And then we also have the ability to do printing presses, which are going to allow us to do books. And then punch cards for the bots, which we... Maybe sometime in the next couple of episodes should start thinking about, depending on how our metal situation is looking. So I do kind of want to save a spot in this area for maybe some of those uh, larger buildings like the printing press. Uh, but we also have to have the paper mill to have a printing press and the paper mill will also give us access to the large windmills. So the way that we lay this out might end up changing a little bit depending on what we are uh, going to find ourselves getting into. But at the very least for right now, we can pretty reliably just go ahead and keep on putting uh, some gear workshops in here, uh, build our little platforms, so on and so forth. We do have to... Uh, Maybe re, uh, redo this just a tiny bit. But getting everything kind of sorted in the uh, correct places is a very important first step to getting this area fully functioning as intended. That'll be fine. This district currently has uh, nine vacancies and no open beds. This district currently has six unemployed beavers and no open beds. So we do have a uh, little bit of a deficit here between the two districts in terms of who needs to go where. Now, there are jobs that have been paused down here in this district. Our hauling post is full. Our uh, district center is full. And there is a builder's hut that I'm going to activate now because we have all of uh, this to build and these guys will take care of that. So that will temporarily help solve this problem. But that doesn't solve our problem up here of now because I built these, we have 12 open jobs, and we're going to have once this other wood workshop is done, we're going to have another one, so it's 13. Actually, it could be higher than 13. It could be 14, depending on how we want to do it. So that means we need more housing. And remember, we have all of this mess right here because we didn't want to build the giant warehouses because we didn't think we'd need to. Well, now we can kind of redesign how this area is going to look. We probably should start doing uh, large tanks if we can have the science for that, and then, of course, the uh, large water pumps that I tried to build very, very, very early on in the series, forgetting that we uh, kind of can't use those. But now we can, because we have the tree of planks, and these are great. Uh, a whole lot more efficient, I guess you could say. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put these, because currently... I didn't really do a great job of setting this whole thing up for success. Uh, I, I This is a little too low. First of all, I wanted it to be this low just so it could be done so we could use it, but it does need to be expanded to be the same height as this. Uh, a couple of you have left comments asking why I haven't done that yet, and honestly, we've just been a little busy taking care of other problems. But now we finally have a little bit of time to try and improve this area up here. Or I guess... We could use the correct name of the district, which is that place up there. We're just waiting on the one gear for this, and then that'll be done. Oh, are the um, gravity batteries are done? Okay. Well, hopefully these windmills will help uh, solve some problems here. Because that's uh, a little bit of an issue. I was going to try to, uh, you know, take all this out so I could raise the height of this, but... Uh, we kind of need to have our windmills, don't we? Well, regardless, uh, we can go ahead. Can I Can I delete the paths? Yeah, okay. I just need to make sure I don't delete the, uh, 
the actual uh, stuff underneath them. But we can start the process of raising this. It's going to take a while, but we can, in fact, start. That's going to have to go up another two. Oh, they're going to get to this with a quickness, aren't they? They sure are. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, why did that not... There we go. Yeah, one more on that. Nice and simple. And then, of course, we can do this back wall uh, as kind of the last thing to tie this together. And actually, since this is entirely uh, quote-unquote proofed against a bad water, which I guess it hasn't been tested yet, so maybe we should wait. Uh, but when we get to that point that it is actually impossible for this to have bad water in it, we can get rid of all these levees. And this whole thing can just be one big reservoir, and I think that's going to work out quite nicely. So, how are things going down here? Decent progress. Uh, cut down all the trees. Very good. Me too. Uh, get out of here. Go do something else. We can go ahead and get rid of the pathing there. Uh, the stairs, I have no reason to get rid of them. But, um... Oh, you know what? They can't reach this. Well, that was a little stupid of me. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will instead extend the path uh, to, get, to get over to here. Wow, that's a... Mm, Okie dokie, then. This little bit in the corner is also not going to be able to be built unless they can go on top of all of this. So I guess we'll just have to kind of leave this alone for them to get to eventually. No big deal. It'll be all right. But uh, anyway, like I was saying before I got distracted by my own stuff again, we need to have some more beavers in this district. We probably need to put in another, um, at least another triple lodge. And then depending on how we uh, have everything else set up, we might need to do more. And I was thinking about maybe uh, just completely throwing all this out and uh, redesigning. Kind of like what we have down here where we just have big bulk storage. But since we're not farming, we only need the finished foods up here. Which if we take a look at this, uh, there's pretty much only nine of them. We're not going to need to keep any of this garbage up here. Uh, we probably don't need to have berries up here at all either. Because we can just import the medicine if we're going to make medicine. So we could just do eight of these, which would be eight large warehouses. Could uh, could have this nice and even, just in a straight line. Or we could do it any number of ways. We don't even have to put this in the same spot. This could actually just be housing. And we could have the food available somewhere else. But uh, there is a lot of verticality on this map. Like I said when we started, I'm not really used to playing with that without just blowing stuff up. So I kind of want to find a way to at least incorporate a little bit of the verticality into this playthrough uh, as a way of challenging myself. So if you got any ideas, I'm all ears. Well, I mean, I always am, but especially in this case, if you have a neat idea to integrate uh, some storage and some housing into the cliffside in a way that you think might look cool, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, I will do my best to incorporate stuff that I think makes sense for us to uh, do here. So what I can do here, actually, uh, I can put a little bridge across this gap, and then they can build from the top down uh, to get to most of this. Then, of course, we'll have to have these things put in the corner so they can uh, get all the way across. But that should not be an issue. And look at that. The uh, the gravity batteries are slowly recharging with the help of the windmills. Uh, I am sure immediately as soon as these beavers go to work, these will be right back down. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Instantly. Instantly gone. Well, that's, um, that's the way it goes, folks. Are we making progress here at least? Yeah, kind of. Well, by the time this is finished, hopefully... Uh, it'll be before the next drought or bad tide so we can get this filled up. That would be great. We have a lot more space to plant aquatic crops. 
and just a lot more water to look at, which I always think is nice. Plus, we can get rid of this. Maybe uh, think of some other interesting stuff to do. But uh, we did a long time ago, and by a long time ago, I mean it could have even been last episode, and I just don't remember. Oh, I haven't unlocked the double dynamite yet. Well, that's fine. We can just kind of uh, incrementally take care of these. I do like these to be at least a double depth if I'm going to use them for uh, for irrigation purposes. So we got a little bit of time. These trees... Oh yeah, this one's not even going to be done this episode probably. If it's got 40%... Oh, actually no. Yeah, it's like 13 days. We could... We maybe. 97%. That's definitely. But uh, none of these are going to grow an inch until this uh, drops over and they get rewatered again. So these two will be pretty quick. We'll see what else is uh, going to come as a result of that. Now, the other thing we're going to try to do uh, is blast this a little bit more straight and then uh, put in contamination barriers. That's something we can easily do as soon as we research them, that is. And the reason we hadn't been doing that is because we wanted to save our science points and do some other stuff. Well, I don't really know what else we could be doing with science outside of just researching things. Like, most of the stuff for down here is already uh, already taken care of, already fine. So we're probably... We're probably okay, in all honesty. All right, so all that water is going to be gone. Uh, this will give us a little bit of a better chance at keeping these trees from dying if we just blast all of this out. They have access to stairs here, so we know they can do it. And it's about to be a good tide, so that should be fine as well. I don't know about blasting the rest of this out to be completely straight, but I did want to give this a little bit of an easier path, a little bit more angular, and also so we can put some separation uh, with the help of our contamination barriers once we can use those. These guys have plenty of stuff to occupy their time. And these two trees, at least, within the next day, day and a half, should be gone. This one, we'll see if I get bored. I might just tell it to go away. Because we don't really need to wait that long. I don't think. Okay, they can't possibly die in an explosion if I do this. There we go, problem solved. Of course, once these trees are cut up, then uh, we can put our contamination barriers here. And then follow this. Then continue following basically all the way around here. But I've got to be sure that I want this 400 science to go to that and not to something else. Although, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure what the other uh, stuff would be at this moment in time. So maybe I should just do it. Yep, that is... Uh, Progressing. We're going to have to be really careful not to get beavers stuck. Uh, silly billified on all of this. Although I think they should should be doing uh, these little bits first. Maybe just for the safety of everyone involved. I should cut this path off so they can't, uh, they can't get stuck. But I guess we'll find out. If anyone gets stuck, then I guess I get to mer uh, mercilessly ridicule them which uh, sometimes is fun. All right, last little bit of dynamite here. So now that's a lot more open, nice and wide. I believe that is five. Yeah, it's five tiles wide. Uh, this obviously hasn't been um, removed yet, but we will very soon. As soon as that guy gets taken out, then we can just blast this down, uh, do it once more, and then uh, start irrigating. Now, there are other things we're going to want to do with this space around here. And I just, I don't know why I always want to pause this stuff, but uh, I need to have somewhere to put a, uh, <laughs> to put a water dump. And I think it's going to have to be, yeah, it's going to have to be where this lumberjack is. Because we know we can put these guys anywhere, but if I, uh, get rid of this then I can have this be a path and then the water dump can go here and then a forester can go here and I can actually uh, have it be a little bit more centralized uh, the way this is set up but should be fine we have plenty of time not to worry about it 
somebody did ask if there is a um, underneath where the stairs were if there was one of these uh, impermeable floors and I believe they are everywhere under here I can't really see that well that seems to be fine if we turn the water back on, obviously uh, these are at the same height, so it might look like you can't tell, but, well, no, it does look like you can't tell because you can't tell. But I'm I'm pretty confident this isn't gonna leak. All right, nobody step on this, all right? Good. 67%, we're probably gonna end up getting rid of this, but I won't uh, I won't rush through this if we don't have to. All right, the um, observatory is not currently being used because I don't have enough beavers up here. So the uh, the easy thing to do is just build more lodges and uh, not have any regard for how nicely they might fit into anywhere. So that's what we'll do, at least for right now. Uh, we can always rip this out later, but I'm going to try not to explode land I don't need to explode to fit into the hillside. Uh, again, would love your ideas on it fun and easy ways to uh, integrate into the, the cliffside here without it just being completely stupid. So, all that being said, uh, these need to be cut down, and they are marked for cutting. But I, uh, mm, oh, you know what? I did, a, I did a dumb thing. I got rid of the only uh, lumberjack that was in range. Okay, well, I guess this one is too, but uh, these were all deprioritized so that's why no uh that's why no trees are being cut see i told you we needed to have more uh more beavers up here we got four kids they're gonna grow up we got seven vacancies one incapacitated uh hopefully that uh, beaver gets better soon because now in both of these districts we don't have enough so it'll take a little bit of time to fill the rest of these jobs but i don't think it's impossible that's still empty. Progress is being made. Very good. I am kind of nervous for the silly billies in this case. But they shouldn't build anything up top until something in the bottom is finished. So now I guess I get to live in fear. Ah, yeah. They did it. They did it again, even though I didn't build it in that order. I just need to make sure they have a way to get on here. So all of these have to be paused. So this and this can be built first. And then we'll just have to do it in order. Unfortunately. But it's fine. There we go. We will uh, we'll leave this alone for a little bit. I don't have to babysit that. Construction here is also continuing, although not quite as fast. Yeah, okay, there's still nothing here. I'm going to have to uh, shut some buildings down. Let's do the wood workshops. Let's do one of the smelters and one of the gear workshops because um, I, oh, I already have two over here. All right, and the, the gear storage is actually full. We haven't, uh, we haven't really done much of anything else with it. So we can, we can fix that at some point. Alright, so now this will have to be here. Uh, actually, if we don't want to replace this forester, which we won't have to, then I don't need to, uh, I don't need to get rid of the slumberjack at all. Because I can just have the uh, the path go down the middle here, and then uh, have uh, what are these guys lumberjacks? I can have them on either side. I don't know. We can try out different things, but I need I need these trees to go away, and I guess I can just go ahead bite the bullet and uh, unlock the contamination barrier, and we can start placing these. These trees need to be removed. Uh, hopefully they get to those at some point. We know we're using enough wood to keep them busy because they keep building this. So I think that's probably okay. How are we doing over here? Alright. One piece at a time. 
every time we come check on that, we'll see how that's doing. So, uh, when are you going to build a large water pump? That is a very good question. And I think, given the geography of this, I haven't decided uh, if I want to blast this all the way down. I honestly don't think there's really a need to. We can always do it later. But uh, given how this area is kind of set up, I think it would be kind of fun to put in one of these pumps on the triple overhang so we don't uh, preclude ourselves from having access to more uh, more space in the future. We can just send somebody down here to blow stuff up. But uh, to make it make sense with how this whole thing is set up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually start... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to actually start by blasting this down here. Remember, this is all this is all going to go away. Uh, I can have one pump here, two pumps here, and then, of course, this can get re, uh, rerouted at any point in time. But if we get rid of this, then I can build the uh, three by one overhangs, say, like right here, like I can do with this before we uh, do too much of anything else. And then we can just come right on top of this with the large pump. And there you have it. Maximum depth on these bad boys is four. So uh, this is unfortunately as low as those go. But uh, we can still make good use of all of this stuff. They're going to take their sweet time doing it because I told them to do this first. But we'll, uh, we'll go check over here on our science fair. Yeah, get that taken care of. I guess I probably should go ahead and have uh, all of these placed in as well. Alright, so that's uh, something. We're doing something over here. Good, they already put these in place. Now, I wonder why they're not taking these oak trees out, because they're, uh, they're in range. And they're available. Contamination barriers, uh, we cannot, of course, put paths or buildings directly on top of, so we will have to wait uh, for those to be accessible. But uh, I can, for the time being, put contamination barriers where they are not going to be uh, in the way. And I think we'll be okay. So this will help these trees stay somewhat, uh, somewhat healthy. It's not going to help irrigate them during a bad tide, but it will help the bad tide poison uh, from killing them. Hopefully. Maybe later on we can fill in some more dirt uh, if we ever unlock terraforming in this one. I don't know. I don't know why you're sitting here, dude. Okay, no, you're actually cutting. You're good. There's just a lot of trees to get cut and a lot of wood that needs to get used. For sure. Alright, let's, uh, hopefully nobody steps on this. Very good. These overhangs will go the same way. And then we probably don't need to have two of these, but I do want to make sure that we are prepared for the eventuality of needing to use those. So, of course, for maximum depth of our little drinking straw here, we'll have to blast that out, but that's not going to be a problem at all. Should be very easy to accomplish. And then the only hard part now is going to be uh, moving all this power structure, so that's maybe going to have to have a little bit of a uh, deliberate plan of attack that I haven't fully thought about yet. Construction over here continues. Uh, we also... Oh, yeah... <laughs> 30 minutes ago, uh, game-wise, the last episode, I put these uh, put these water wheels here, and then we uh, we proceeded to do nothing with them. It's fine. Um, but I can go ahead and move the explosives factory over here once I get a uh, platform placed right there. There we go. I did say we we're going to try and use a little bit more of this space. In this area, I'm not afraid to just explode. I think that's fine. Because this is not a... Uh, this is not a happy place. This is just a place where stuff exists. 
Now this pile of scrap metal, I'm pretty sure, is going to just get relocated up here. Set that to uh, empty. This one should be set to supply. There we go. And once this is gone, then I can put extractors right here. We can move this out of the way here, because this, honestly, I think this cliffside is a little bit more interesting visually than this one back here. So maybe that would be a cool place to put some uh, some housing or something. We got options. They still have not cut these trees down. What are you doing, dudes? You got to get with the program, folks. We got we got trees to cut down. We got stuff to do. You know, I don't want to just you know get rid of them, but they're they're useful. We should be using them. The good news is that uh, this large water pump is almost ready to go. I guess I can go ahead and uh, get rid of those things along with uh, this little bit here. They can pick up all the scraps and use those for other things. As progress continues here. It's just unfortunate that I'm going to have to rip this out because that was a kind of a pain. <laughs> kind of a pain to put in. Alright, we ready for the next one to get unpaused? There we go. Sure are. Now, the well-being has been a, uh, a hot topic of discussion in the comments about what we should do to fix that. Uh, we do have, wow, we have the Farmer Monument. We have not researched the Brazier of Bonding or the Fountain of Joy. And those would all improve uh, immensely. Our average well-being, uh, well, it just went down to 22. But uh, for the most part, we haven't done too much at all with any of this stuff. Uh, detailer, we have to get to eventually... I gotta come up with some custom images for our beavers to imprint upon themselves. And then uh, Carousel, now that we have power, shouldn't be too big of an ask. I don't think. But I'm gonna have to figure out where to put it. We could very easily, um, well, maybe not that easily, given how the vertical power shafts in this game work. Uh, but we could relatively easily get power over here without it being super ugly. And uh, think about some other stuff. Oh, that was already unpaused. Never mind. Now, how are we looking up here? This is not attached to anything because uh, this staircase is uh, currently staircasing. So that's going to be something we've got to fix. Probably sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and just... Oh, of course, that one's not going to work. Uh... Because this is a very convenient uh, crossover here. We might as well uh, enable them to travel between areas by just connecting that. And then I can I can make that go bye-bye. Oh, these guys are silly billies now. Except I'm the silly billy because I'm the one that trapped them. So, I guess I should have not done that. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have done that because now I <laughs> I don't even have the other thing unlocked. Man, that is a... Oh, that one hurts. All I wanted to do was cut access off here and then, uh, then rebuild under it. But I guess now is as good a time as any to do that. Just, uh, just get rid of this because we don't need to be down here again. Logs and planks, come grab that stuff or I'll just delete it, yeet it. Maybe. There we go. So, um, this is done. They just have to actually complete it. There, now they're no longer silly or billy. They can leave anytime they want. So we'll get that put in place and then I guess I can just, uh, finish off, uh, all the rest of that and be, uh, be okie dokie. We got plenty of water storage, but we need more. I oh, wow. Okay, our science is way up. I guess the observatory is occupied again. Man, they are so slow at cutting these trees. Let me tell you what. Uh, do I have a hauler thing in here? I do. It is not full. 
Now it has six workers instead of four, because I was thinking, why haven't I prioritized these? Well, uh, they can't really, can't really do too much without uh, having access to more space in their own building, so that's an easy thing to fix. How are we looking over here in the corner? We'll undo that. And then I am pretty sure it's going to be almost impossible. Oh, good. It's a bad tide. So we're going to have a chance now. Going to have a chance to make this work. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this finished in time to really uh, take full advantage of it. But uh, we will get there. Eventually. And I will pop. Oh, you know what? I've got another one I can let down. I completely forgot. Yeah, they, they're not even... That's not even on their radar. they got so much other stuff going on. What a mess we've got here. They still haven't come to pick up all this stuff either. I'm pretty sure I still got the... Uh, yep, the builders are building. These guys are these guysing. And this is part of the other district that is now... Oh, they're not working there because it was... a. Uh, Hmm. Alright, well now, at the very least, we don't have to police this anymore, and we can just be pleasantly surprised when it's done. But now we've got to think about the uh, the crimes we've committed over here, and the the right mess we find this in. It's like we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough beavers to really do much of anything, do we? Yeah, all those double platforms need to go away. I do think we're going to want to still have a, uh, a path to get across here. But we can do that with the help of our overhangs or our suspension bridges. We don't need to build platforms everywhere. We just got a lot going on. But, oh, you know what? We have 1.8 days. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, first of all, remember how to get in here. What I'm going to put in as many of these as I can to help save these trees. That, I think, is a smart move. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna have time to wait for these trees to get saved. We have so much wood. Not demolish buildings. We'll just uh, get all those out of here. I don't know if they're going to do it in time, but uh, I can tell you for sure we need all of these to be done before the bad tide starts because I don't want to send beavers down into this. The rest of this, they're fine. But this needs to be a priority, and I think they can get that done pretty quick. Uh, they might even be able to just walk to all of them from either this point or right here. Yeah, I don't see any showing up as not able to be accessed. So that's good. We just have to make sure they're out of here before the bad tide starts, or it's going to be a bad time. We could also do the same thing over here, but we're not growing anything, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, 1.5 days. Can they do it? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I don't know how they got away with having that one fight be like, I don't know, what was it, 20 episodes or something? That's the kind of thing you can only do if you have like complete and total cultural control over like just an entire generation. I, I think in Mexico they name like taco places after Goku still, which is wild. That show aired, what, 30 something years ago? in a different language, on a different part of the planet. Pretty wild. So fortunately, this seems like it's going to be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and remove those stairs, because they can reach this uh, just from up top without having to worry about anything. They still have not gotten rid of the oak trees here. But uh, in fairness, I did tell this to be super ultra priority, so... Now I can just tell that to be super priority, but not super ultra priority. Oh, good. I had forgotten about uh, this needing dynamite. And yeah, now they come get rid of these trees. A 
There we go, folks. I forgot they can walk on this, but... Uh, short of these trees right here, we are going to be in very good shape for keeping the rest of our uh, stuff uncontaminated. And now it's time to make absolutely sure there's no way anyone can get into the contamination zone. And I do not see any access, so I believe we are good. Now's the time for our diversion to shine. All right, I just have to very, very carefully check uh, what's going on here. All right, we did it. We're good. This is just regrettably um, not irrigated yet. But this does not say that it's going to be polluted. And these trees already died, so that's not an issue. They're just not irrigated. And uh, these little tendrils here will go away just as soon as the contamination barriers can be put into place. This reminds me of some delicious Belgian waffles, actually. The, the nice the yellow color with the, the grid like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, I would be very interested to know canonically how this works, keeping uh, keeping only contamination out. Because as far as as far as we know, it's only uh, it's only planks and steel. Which hey, if you don't want to exp uh, explain how that works, that's fine, I guess. But I would like to know. This is now here, ready to go. Start making some dynamite over there, and then that means this can thankfully go away. Clear up some space here for much better land uses. So this is being emptied. That is being filled. Hopefully they can take all of these out before this fills up. I could have just deleted it and left all the stuff on the ground, but I figured I'd give you guys at least one moment where I do it the correct way. It's because I care. Yeah, this will be fine. And then, like I was saying earlier, we can put at least one of those, I always forget what these are called, uh, centrifuges. Maybe two. And then a big uh, tank for extract is going to be important. So we can safely leave that alone. Come check this out. Yep, that is working. A pretty short, pretty short bad tide. Only three days in cycle twenty-two. That seems uh, that seems unlikely. Uh, but given how this is going, the only thing that's being powered here are the uh, grist mills. So this could actually be our best opportunity to go ahead and take this stuff out because these guys aren't going to need it. Especially since this is going to go away. Yeah, let's just wholesale redevelop this entire thing right here. Clear out the space. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And then this should be, by the time we're done, it should be the correct height to go on top of a path. And uh, then we'll be in a good shape. You know the drill. we got to always have some sort of project going. It is illegal to be doing nothing. So that downward power shaft can go away. These paths can go away. It's a very, very slow process to actually build this. But you can't finish if you never start. Good life wisdom for you. So now these are facing this way. Go all the way here. And then. Yep, that is going to be splendid. Look at that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Because then what I can do is I can just have that also be a path on top of all of our fun stuff here. But for right now. Uh, we will have to use it as a uh, a building aid uh, to get down here. All right, one day left of the bad tide, and we still have not lost. Oh, never mind. 
We definitely did lost some trees. But um, that will be the last time it happens. It's fine. These were going to get cut down anyway. So we're, we're not going to lose any sleep over that. But very, very soon, friends, we will never have that problem ever again. Don't step on the explosives. Good job. Now, if I want to do this this way, I can pop this in the corner and then I can continue to have a... Uh... Actually, maybe I, uh... yeah, I, will. I will go ahead and put this here. Because I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Yeah, if I'm not putting the forester here, then it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine to do this. I'm going to just relocate the lumberjack flags to be all here. There's four here. This one can go away. This one can go away. This one can go away. And maybe I'll leave this one. Or if we're feeling saucy, we could put it downstairs here. Or since there's no, uh, no much of anything over here, we could do that too. Now, we got options. Gotta admit, it's a little um, a little weird to have the three-day bad tide because now I feel like I should end the episode, but it's only been 47 minutes. So, ideally, ideally we don't do that. Okay, and this is already, uh, already down to 0% contamination. Very good. This will continue slowly. Progress is going fine here, I guess. What we'll do is once enough of this is in place, we can take these levees out and then this will automatically, because it's set to the downstream depth of 0.7, this will automatically fill this from our reserve up here. I was kind of hoping that this would be done too, but I think that's a little bit, uh, a little bit more of a pie in the sky kind of thing. Not to have that fully finished, but uh, we'll get there. Hopefully, they still have not picked up these logs. They must not need them. Well, it's fine. We got a little bit more time to take care of that. We're not hurting for any of the supplies. We're not uh, We're not really in a bad spot at all. We got still have our eight builders here. We got four that aren't doing anything. So I guess... Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need the uh, the gear workshop. So I'll, I'll turn one more of those back on. Let them get back going on that. We need to have storage for gears, but I haven't really decided how the storage is gonna be done up yet. So I guess what I'll just go ahead and do is build a storage uh, for the gears up here. Hopefully, I didn't already have one. No, I think I'm I think I'm good. All right, this is empty which means now it's time to put in our centrifuge. I guess I could have turned that another 90 degrees, but uh, it's fine. And I want these to be connected, but I'm not going to build a second centrifuge just yet. So we will, of course, temporarily get this put in with a power shaft. So these can all be fully connected. So right now, uh, these two are making 200. And our centrifuges require 200, so that works out just fine. This uh, dynamite builder requires 150. These are putting out 167. So it works out perfectly that we just have these two buildings right here. But what's my motto? It always takes time. You can't rush stuff. Well, you can, but it's going to be a bad result and you're going to be mad. Well, you might not be. I usually am when it's not a good result. Um... No storage space for planks. All right, well, then I'm not going to lose any more sleep over it. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. Uh, then these are going to have to be just replaced with platforms. Nice and easy here. And then as soon as this is complete, and it's going to take a little bit of time to do, uh, but as soon as this is complete, we'll be able to get everybody else by everybody else, I mean all these guys. The waters. <laughs> yeah, get them in here. And then fill up the downstream, hopefully at all. Wow, that's actually pretty close to done. I was not expecting that. 
We just have a couple more of them down here to get to, and then we could probably start filling this up in just a couple minutes. So what I'm going to do to help facilitate expediency here is I'm just going to do these like so here. Run the power shaft on top of the path so that we can still, you know, actually use all of this stuff. We can walk around the top and have that be a nice uh, pathway. Unfortunately... Wait, no, that is still the same district. That's fine. That that path does connect back there. I thought for a second I was going to do an illegal move. Oh, that's working out uh, splendidly well. This does need to be connected, though, so maybe I'll just have them make a quick detour uh, to take care of that. Still a couple of these they haven't built, but they can reach all of them, which is nice. No more trees need to get cut down. So I can go ahead and take this out. Then I can put the path here. That'll help uh, getting this uh, filled up a little bit quicker. Everything just takes some time. Although I, I want to know why they haven't finished this. That doesn't make any sense. To not have this dynamite already just done. I wonder if we're going to get, um, yeah, we might get contamination through this space here, but I can't, uh, I can't build any terrain until I have terraforming done and this only goes on the ground. I can't put this on the levee or anything, but I guess I could, uh, no, no, that's not going to work. Hmm. How am I going to get around this? I guess I could just put one here, one here. I, I don't know how much that's going to help, but uh, maybe it'll do something. I don't know. These things are cheap to build anyway. I don't think it's a don't think it's a big deal. There is still a pile of logs here. How did that happen? Well, this this can safely get removed, and that can just get turned into a. Uh, power shaft turn. Though I wonder, would it be worth having a intersection here? So we could maybe put a uh, carousel or... Well, actually, that's the only one that requires um, power, is a carousel. We could also just as easily place this up here manually without worrying about that, so I guess we'll just do this. Just put the power shaft turn there and be fine. Be done with it. All right, so that is finally in place. Uh, we do have the large water pump that is ready to go. That'll be good. Uh, behind here, I'm going to put water tanks. Now that these gear workshops can go away. And we actually have space here. Oh, uh, you know what I didn't think about is that these have to be connected to power. How could you not think about that? Look, it happens. It's that it 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 yeah. It's it's just the way it is. So this right here, I got two of these. This isn't pretty. But I believe I believe we can still build this uh correctly here from the side. Yeah, that should work. We're just going to have to uh, get all this done. Hopefully uh, a little bit more quickly here. Once they're not having to build this giant dam anymore, that should be substantially easier. That is really going to increase our capacity for pumping, which is going to be fantastic. And then this district can finally be fully independent, minus the uh, whole growing food thing. But that's not a problem because we have giant farms here. Hey, that is, uh, that's complete. We'll call that done. Let's get rid of our pathing here we don't need. 
I'll leave that staircase there just in case we need it later. But uh, friends, I think we are good to go. So you know what that means? It's time to blow up the dam. So let's do that. And that will let, well, blow up the other thing. The dam is not going to get blown up yet. Uh, but I do want to let this flow, let this water get released out of here slowly. So we get that taken care of. They're almost done. Almost done with the levees. And just in time, too. Coming up on an hour, and I always try to keep these right around that time, maybe a little bit less. This is slowly filling up. Look how much better this looks with just more water here. That's good stuff. So we can leave that alone for just a moment. Did they finish? No. There's so much other stuff I guess they have had to focus on. You can already see this uh, water level rising here. Back to where it's supposed to be as uh, it continues to cycle draining and not draining. But hopefully there won't be too much more of that because this will uh, fill up mostly. And then, oh, we can't forget about this needing to be replaced so this can uh, this can have the, uh, whatchamacallit, completely done. These are going to have to be changed to close above downstream depth of, let's call it 4.7. Because remember, uh, 1.7, I think, yeah. Remember that this is never closed. This sluice is never closed. This is also, oh, this one is closed. Okay, well, we can just leave that alone. Uh, this will be the overflow. So anytime this gets too full, because it will once we have all of this removed, uh, we just need to make sure that since this cannot regulate what's up top, that we always uh, take care of all that stuff. So that's fine. This can go away. Rotate that correctly. Get the pathing back in place. And then, folks, we are going to be good to go. The hardest part is going to be picking up all this, uh, all this stuff off the ground. But, yeah, that's done. Dunzo. So, you know what that means. It's time. We'll let loose the floodgates here. Get this filled up. And then these will shut as soon as the downstream level gets to 4.7. Oh, hey, you know what? You know what I didn't uh, take into account? These weren't finished yet. All right. Um, that was an oversight. Let's get that going here. And I will temporarily close those two so we don't have that problem. Get this put in place. That should be good to go. And I'll get the path done. Yep, that's going to be very nice. And here they come from both sides. Grab this and get that taken care of. And then, friends, we will be in a really, really good spot. I am going to have to have them come down here to grab all these logs, though. It's going to really irritate me seeing all that sitting on the ground, but maybe that is a task for another time. I will go ahead and put this other large water pump here, just so that's all good taken care of. How are we looking down here? Nice. Big improvement. Very good. I know it's dark. You can't really see too much, but that is pretty nice. And now that this is ready to go, I will put this back on auto. And we should see this slowly start to fill up again. Uh, this is all pretty much fully redundant now. So we just need to figure out how to get beavers down in here to clean up all of the mess. But that sounds like a problem for next time. Because we accomplished a bunch of my long-term goals today. Not all of them. Not all. But we did get a bunch of stuff done, and that feels good. This is just waiting on more planks, which it should have pretty soon. And then all of this will be good to 
go. Good to go. We massively increased our reservoir storage capacity. We've got this fully protected against bad tides. Um, except maybe I need another, another two here. That probably would be wise. Or four. We'll do that. But now as soon as that's done, then this will be completely good to go. And we are entering a new era of that place up there as a powerhouse of water pumping, forestry, and industry. Well, relatively speaking, a powerhouse. But yeah, that is looking fantastic. And that's going to be where we're going to end it for today. I know uh, this one did end up going over an hour, but, but we got a lot of good stuff done. And I'm glad that you're here. Beard Boosters as well. Uh, kind of goes without saying, hey, look, a bad tide's coming. That's going to be fun next episode. Uh, but uh, it really is not possible to do these without all of the fantastic support that you guys have been giving. And I'm very, very grateful to each and every one of you. If you're one of the 880-something names on the Beard Booster list, or if you're not, I am glad you are here. And I'm glad that we get to share this time together and enjoy each other's company while we play this amazing, super fun beaver game. So, hope you join us again soon for more of this series on Wednesday. And then we also have Water Beavers coming uh, Thursday and Sunday as well. And the Return of Penguins tomorrow. So, uh, should be fun to get back into that one for a little bit. We have a little bit more I want to do before we say goodbye to the Penguins. And then uh, figure out what's going to replace them. But that is all the time I got for this one. Uh, the the roll on the, the Beard Booster list does take a long time, so I hope I've... Uh, I hope I've padded enough for that to finish by now. But uh, we'll be fine. If I need to, I can just extend it later. But uh, that's it, friends. We'll see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.